Steve Human. Okay, please. Yeah. Good morning, Council members. Uh, my name is Steve Human. I work for a company called Sidewalk Enterprises that has owned uh, property since 1976 along the Venice Boardwalk. Uh, we have been plagued with many, many issues for many, many years on the Venice Boardwalk. From trash and graffiti to drug dealing and drug use to to crime, robbery, fighting, stabbings. We need help from the city, and we have asked for help from the city, and they have tried. You, you have tried. Unfortunately, uh, you know, we have asked for police, you have worked your best, but there are limited resources. Um, we have, on the boardwalk, I have employees who have been accosted, assaulted at gunpoint on their way home. You know, witness stabbings. So we thank you. Thank, thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you, Mr. Cox. I'd like to give Mr. Cox, followed by Mr. Lane. Yes, uh, my name is Andy Lane. I own and operate uh, the property at 1305. Illegal Hotel. I've owned this property for 30 years. Okay, wait a minute. Let's, let's hold this time. Okay, let, let's. Let's listen to everyone, okay? So let's respect them. As many of you will be brought up, and you want people to respect you as well. So go ahead, sir. In 1986, when I got this property, it was full of gangs, drug dealers, prostitution, and it was a mess. Uh, even, we did not have a homeless problem at that point because it was too dangerous to have a beach for the homeless to go there. My then past president, I'm a believer that this bid is a win-win-win for everybody. In the budget, there is additional money for homeless outreach and service for the city. Venice Beach is the number one visitor in, visitor, uh, in Los Angeles County. And, and uh, it's a win for all locals, I think, because we can work together and uh, the owners are putting up the money to help clean up the boardwalk and increase our safety and security. Thank you, sir. If I can have the next speaker, please identify. Good morning. And you are? My name is Christopher Cox. Um, I'm a resident of residence for over 20 years. I've been employed at the Sidewalk Head Cafe for 16 years. My current position there, I'm an assistant general manager there. I support the beds. I spend 50 hours a week on the boardwalk. I deal directly with the people who are there. I call for assistance often, as many times as well. It happens directly in front of the restaurant. It is not enough. We have only over 50, 90 employees who are, their safety is our concern. 90 employees who are, live and work in Venice. We are directly across from the skate park, two blocks north from the North Circle, and we need, need more help. Thank you very much. Thank you. So if I can ask the next, identify yourself. Hi, good morning, my name is Kristen Archibald. I'm the general manager of the Sidewalk Cafe. I've been the general manager for 20 years. I also am the president of Venice Beach. And I just noticed there's an increase in the lawlessness, the homelessness, the failed. There has been an attempt to clean it up, but we need more help. I have, um, I've witnessed and residents and my employees that had bikes stolen, purses stolen, been beaten down, have witnessed killings, stabbings. Um, there is, it's scary. It's not safe. You can put your sign down. There's no signs allowed in council. You need to put your sign down. There's no signs allowed in council. Make comments on safety. And I love that. I love affecting party, fun part of this, but it's druggy. It's scary. So, I'm supportive of Thank you. Okay, so now let's stop the clock. We're going to try to call up some people who are not supportive. So, uh, I have, a, I believe, Laddie Williams. Laddie Williams. David Ewing. Is it an helicopter? Last name begins with an O. Ovosco. And, uh, Sylvia 
or off or something? Yes, ma'am. You gotta identify yourself. Hi, I'm Daniel Williams. I'm new. I've been in this all my life, so I was crying and everything. So just thinking about this to be about. But anyway, to you guys were talking earlier about the the proprietorship of the tax and how it leads people some being served and some not being. I think the bid would do the same thing to the east. The bid has been free since I've known it. Number one tourist attraction. We can take this money that people have for the bid and do something prosperous and, and do something good and some bathrooms open. Let's make the keep things free and keep the death beach free. And we don't need any more policing. We need to learn how to police ourselves. And if we do that and do it with respect, we can get somewhere and we can have a beach that's for everybody, accessible for everybody, and that everybody can get in and have a good time and come to see what this beach is all about. Thank you. 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 Good morning, my name is David Ewing, a long time with us resident, and I'm going to ask you, please do not move for our law enforcement. You just had this conversation uh, about, about taxes versus crime sharing. You're going to put a force in place that doesn't uh, have any standards, that doesn't follow public process, and isn't responsible for the public. So this will be governed by a nonprofit, according to the bylaws of, the, of that corporation, which was just created three months ago. And the public has not been allowed to see the bylaws, and I, I'm wondering if you have, because otherwise you're voting for a black box. You don't know what you're voting for. So uh, please, that's not a public process. That's not an opportunity for the public to make an informed comment, um, and, and uh, that's, that's not a reputable public process. So uh, one of the bid analysts in the city clerk's office told me that bids are generally formed to promote a local identity or brand. This one is uh, using 73% of its budget annually. Thank you. Thank you. So the next speaker, please come forward. And you, and you identify yourself. What is your name? Hello, my name is Sylvia Arad, and I'm a very long-time resident of Venice. Thank you for letting me speak this morning. I'm here to ask you to vote no, or at least postpone your vote on the Venice Board Walk bid to get more community input. I've already voiced some of my concerns to the California Coastal Commission in Santa Cruz, and here are a few of them. The bid process has been an opaque, undemocratic mess. Only 28% of private property owners voted in favor of the bid. The city, which owns 25% of the property in the bid zone, brought the total to 53 total to only 53% voting in favor. As voting rights are based on how much commercial property is owned, tenants, including residents and small businesses, and other stakeholders have no voice in the process, and many are opposed. We've spoken to hundreds of them. The city will pay over $450,000 annually in business bid assessment out of general fund dollars. The city will have no input on how the bid Thank you, thank you. So,
unprecedented way alongside Councilman Bonney to move this forward and make it happen. If we take a, look, take a look at the big picture, forming a bid in Venice Beach is a big win. The goal is to provide a safer and cleaner community for everyone, residents, tourists, and all Antonio to enjoy. Despite the attention and resources directed to the area, Venice Beach and nearby areas are still in dire need of the extra attention that it did come by. Finally, I want to thank Councilman Conant for his leadership making the bid a priority and encourage you to support Thank you. And, uh, and so identify yourself. Thank you. All right. um, the California Guidance for Conformance to the Coastal Act and the bid activities described by the Los Angeles General Plan and the Land Venice Land Use Plan section describes everything but security. It describes uh, basically an ordinance that has everything to do with parking facilities, promoting tree planting, and sponsoring cleanups, improving a general environment, and the development of maintenance of small parks. The bid comprised of visitor serving areas does not say anything about serving uh, the community with more security. We have so much tax revenue in our three miles of Venice, specifically the beach, that we should be getting these services from the city. There's no need for us to do this bid. It's illegal and immoral. We need to be behind closed doors, sir. Behind closed doors, they did not get the community behind us. There's very few people who know about this. Otherwise, this would be filled and we'd be here definitely all day. It wouldn't matter how late. You can call us on the agenda, sir. It would not matter. Thank you. So if I can thank you. Next speaker, please identify yourself. My name is Jeff Harris. Yes, sir. And I manage real estate uh, in the business area. Um, particularly on the business boardwalk, where at night, um, it seems like it's an unoccupied territory. I know, you got building. There are no. Now, you can't disrupt the whole time. Hold this time. I want everybody to be afforded their opportunity to speak. So no outburst, even if you disagree with what someone has to say. So if I call your name, I'm gonna fight to make sure you get every second that you're supposed to have. And I'm gonna do the same with each and every one. So if, you, if, I, if I can identify because of the outbreak, we'll ask you to leave. So why don't we start the clock to get on this agenda this time. Again, my name is Jeff Harris, and I manage real estate in the Venice area. I've done so for 12 years, and I've seen some horrendous things. I've seen the Pacific Division try to do their best effort to handle all the crime and all the activity at night. But at night, it literally is lawlessness. Uh, we, the Venice Art Crawl and other activities have been created just to try to create some kind of a presence there at night. But at night, there's all kind of crime. Vendors have been attacked, restaurateurs have been attacked, businessmen have been attacked, and of course, we've had tourists that have been killed. Um, these kind of uh, bad publicity is not good for the city of Venice, so we need to do something better. Thank you. Thank you. Next speaker, please. Yes.
controversy because Venice is passionate. You will not see perfect unity here today because that is not Venice. But what you will see is a massive, first of its kind commitment by property owners to a thoughtful solution to intractable issues. There will be no big police force, just ambassadors. Only ineligible properties are excluded from the boundaries. The public property within the bid defines the area. Excluding it would exclude the very heart of Venice. More than 58% of property owners signed their petitions. Every owner has been mailed twice. We have met with all known opponents who would meet with us. A supportive property owner who could not attend today reminded me of this quote. Every adversity carries with it the seed. Thank you. Thank you. So if I could get the next speaker. Yes. Hello. Hello. Yes. Hey, this is Mike Gill, Councilman Lauren. Thanks for having me speak here. I oppose the bid. What this woman just said is not true. The bid was created in secrecy and a subject to due process. The last thing that Venice needs is a police force without oversight controlled by local property owners. It's not right and it doesn't benefit the community. And this is an embarrassment that our legal process is being treated this way. The, the people who are strongly behind the bid have not done justice to the community or had voices in the process. And as a result, this does not represent the community in any way whatsoever. And we need to have a community represented in the right way in Venice, and this is not right. Thank you.
Through my job, I have the pleasure of welcoming you guys from all over the world. But right now, we have serious crime and blight in the Venice Beach area. People are being encouraged and we need support of a big that will be managed by local stakeholders who also care deeply about Venice and want to preserve its culture while improving cleanliness and safety. Let's just make Venice safe for everyone to enjoy, residents, tourists, and locals alike. We all deserve a safe place in Venice. Thank you. So if I can get the next. Yes. Good morning, my name is Becky Denison. I work with Venice Community Housing. Uh, we also own and manage property all throughout Venice in the mid area and a surround, uh, in, in, in the surrounding area. We are adamantly opposed to a business improvement district. As a mission driven organization that cares about low income and homeless residents, this is the wrong structure. There is absolutely no voice um, for low income people, for uh, non commercial property owners for homeless residents who have been targeted across the city by private security, as you all know in did. I want to raise three issues. I want to say that the city carries way too much weight in this vote. 25% of the property, including a dog park, a free speech zone, the basketball court, things that have no uh, place in a business improvement district. I also want to say the petition mailing did not meet the government code section 36621. You did not mail us the management plan for review of the petition. And I also want to say that your own regulations say that people should not expect a favorable vote from the city council with a significant number of protests, and there are a significant number of protests who are not obligated to approve this bid, and you should not. Thank you. Thank you. I don't care what anyone says. I've lived in a lot of tough cities. I grew up in North New Jersey. I grew up in Denham. I don't feel safe walking down the road at night. I don't feel safe. It's not pleasing. I don't mind that fecal you know, matter in front of my house every day. It's not good. I believe the bid is providing essential services that will make the entire community feel safer using the beautiful beach which is in Venice, which will continue to be an inspiration for artists and others. Thank you. So if I can get uh, General Dogan, General Dugan, Scott Spencer, Sylvia H, and I, I think this is Yolanda Gonzalez. Please come forward. Don't wait just come on. Come right in. Scott Spector, I'm a property owner in the Dig. My property is regularly covered in graffiti, human excrement. I have regularly been harassed in front of my house, and it is not safe to walk down the beach in the evening. This is the first time that a group of people have come together and are trying to clean up the waterfront. I don't want to be contributing money to it, but not getting done by the city, so if I need to, I will. I am in full support of the district. Thank you. Please come forward and identify yourself. My name is Sylvia Hernandez from Los Angeles Community Action Network. Wait, 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 wait. Los Angeles Community Sylvia Hernandez. Gotcha. Okay, H. No, I had to find it. Give her her minute again. Yeah. I got you. Thank you. Um, I hope to oppose that very speech um, business Improvement District, Clean and Safe Program that hasn't been described in detail in public documents. Uh, but uh, still, um, uh, it doesn't have any real uh, impact in the community, uh, but criminalizing the people that live on the streets. And uh, it used as an, a part of the apparatus that LAPD uses to promote uh, more uh, homelessness. Um, I go against it because I know that for hundred and sixty thousand dollars, it will be it will be used from the general funds to keep keep um, keep taking away the characters of communities like Venice. Also, I'm a host. Thank, thank you. Please come forward and give it back to us. General Dogan. These are the soldiers who died to remove war and homeless people 
water code trigger. Big guards downtown have all, have all been under fire because they afford the change to illegal stops and seizures and harass and brutalize residents in the area. Every bid downtown has either been sued or in litigation for illegally attempting to police public space. Many cars are citizens like you and I. They don't have special voting powers, so stop trying to make it. I encourage the city to vote no. Uh, the city's in enough litigation right now. Black Lives Matter is protesting outside your door right now because of the police efforts of the city that has been made in this right now. These are not popular with most people that need to build more houses. That's the problem, right? And the stuff that these folks in the business are talking about, they need to be in the police business to talk to Chief Beck about. Ain't no private security guards are going to be able to solve the problem. These are private security guards that are having a public, uh, you know, a private citizen, a public citizen just like you are. They don't have special votes in the problem. So my uh, uh, encouragement to you is to do some real stuff. Thank you, sir. Thank problem. you. So, thank you. And I need Nicole Siskin. Nicole Siskin, please come forward. Yes, ma'am. Sí, buenas tardes, soy Yolanda González. He sido residente y a partir de aquí. I need you to hold one second. I can translate myself. Oh, go 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 for it. You stay there. Go ahead. He sido residente y dueña de propiedad durante 48 años. Y vengo en representación de la comunidad hispana que vive en Dennis, sobre todo los trabajadores. Yo casi fui atacada tres veces dentro de mi propiedad y desgraciadamente no puedo llegar, dejar que la policía llegue a tiempo a recibir mi queja. Más que nada, favorezco este día, porque ustedes no están haciendo su trabajo para protegernos. Y tenemos que tener protección, antes que nada, para poder solicitar buenos trabajos y negocios que salgan adelante. Segunda, es importante que, los, que yo, como una persona inversionista de esta ciudad, sostenga mi dinero, porque si no, yo ya estoy a punto de vender todo. Porque usted okay, 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 okay. Now you better I have been a resident of 48 years within Venice. I am a property owner. I am a taxpayer. And we are not getting our services in security. We need to promote businesses. We need to promote people to come and work in a safe place. I am here in representation of the Hispanic community that not only lives in Venice, but also works in Venice. Because I have been attacked already three times, and unfortunately, inside my property because the police can't get their money. And that's coming out of city commissioners meeting and businesses that we take care of in order to provide what the community needs to find out. We need protection. And it's very important. I sustain the victims within the boundary. And people who do not support it because they think they're going to lose everything. And people are getting threatened because they think they can't sell. Yes, they can sell. We've got to a generation in which we are getting old. And it's time for us to move on. Thank you. Thank you. So if I can get this, if we can get this. No, 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 Sir, this is the second time. I'm trying to treat you as respectfully as possible. One more out. Okay, the last speaker on this side is Miss Sissy. No, 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 wait, wait, wait. No, wait. When you can, and I respect each and every one of you for coming down here. But when I began this subject, I told you what the time was going to be. It was going to be 25 minutes. It's already almost 30. So that's the way it is. That's what we're going to do. Ms. Siskin, go ahead, your minute. The vote that didn't speak your name will be entered into the record. Go ahead. Hi, I'm representing six property owners in Venice. Uh, so we feel that it is a Uh, 
I think it's not supported, it's not fair, it's unequitable, and uh, it's
of the people who are homeless in And it's as bad as, as some of the, the Trump-led forces who paint a portrait of everyone who's homeless in Venice as being criminal. It's absolutely wrong. The victims of so much of the violence are themselves homeless. So it, it is very important, I think, to have these services. I would note that many of you, I think, expressed a genuine concern for people who are homeless in Venice. I would note that many of you who have done so have not yet weighed in publicly or uh, to me or to my colleagues in favor of actual proposals I could put forward to help address homelessness, permits for housing in Venice, uh, storage facilities, uh, bathrooms, uh, mobile showers. And I would invite you to do so because there is a way that we can work together to actually address homelessness. So, uh, colleagues, thank you so much uh, for listening today. Thanks for both sides for coming down. Votes will be counted on this afternoon and we'll be announcing the results tomorrow. Okay, so this does close the hearing. So, Madam Clerk, what is now before this uh, body? Ma'am, you have to get out of the center aisle. We're moving on to what is what is next? The general welcome. Okay, so now I have uh, Mr. Secretary Thank you very much, Mr. President. If I may, I'd just like to take a brief introduction. Go so right in. Um, CD2 has been blessed uh, 